Hey, what's going on guys? Your boy Spyla2K7 and we are back with a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day and I appreciate you guys for checking out today's video. So as you can see, we're in our office here for our tow company, Ace Towing. This is our city location and we actually just got a call from a contractor working at a construction site here in the city and he said a cement truck fell into a hole like it rolled over and fell into a hole and it's loaded with cement to make it even worse and there's probably cement spilling all over the place so our job for today is to try to recover the cement truck and get it out of the hole it's probably going to be a little bit tricky um, I guess we'll figure it out once we get on scene. Now, today is a very rare occasion. We actually have all three of our heavy duty records here. We have heavy number one, which is the Peterbilt, which was our first uh, heavy duty record that we put in service. We also have heavy number two, which is the Kenworth. This was our second heavy that we put in service. And then heavy number three, which is a smaller Kenworth. And this was the third and final heavy that we put in service as of the time that I'm recording this video. Now normally the, the trucks are kind of split up so some of them are here and then the rest are at our county location out in Blaine County but today is a rare day all of them are here so we have not used the Kenworth W900 in a while I figured we'll use it today um, since it hasn't went out on a recovery in a while so let's go ahead and take it out I already have it warming up as you can see and yeah we are ready to go. Okay guys, so as normal, uh, Alex will be rolling with us as well. He's outside waiting for us. Alright, what's going on Alex? You ready? Alright, let's roll. So we're heading to a construction site. It's actually right here in the heart of the city. Yep. All right. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. Only less than two miles, mile and a half. All right. So we're going to turn off our lights for now and we'll make our way towards the scene. Of course he decides to go as soon as I go around him, <laughs> every single time. Alright guys, so we're arriving on scene of the construction site. I'm going to turn my lights on. Let's see what we are working with. So here's the truck. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Looks like we have fire and rescues on scene as well as the police on scene as well. And you know what? I'm just going to clear these barricades because they're not supposed to be here. They just kind of spawned in on their own. So I'll clear that and we'll clear it. All right. So we're now on scene. Let's take a look and see what we're working with. 
Uh, so it looks like the cement truck just fell right over. I'm not sure how badly damaged it is. How you guys doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to pull it over with the excavator. Oh yeah, trust me, that's way too heavy for the excavator. You, 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 you're lucky you didn't because you would have probably pulled the excavator over. Then we'll have to charge you to pull the excavator up and pull the summer truck up. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't try to do that. All right, don't worry, we'll get this, we'll get a get out. Was anybody injured? Okay, good. All right, so let's just talk to the police officers, make sure we're good to go here. And uh, yeah, this should be a fun recovery for heavy number two. Hello, sir. Are we uh, good to start the recovery? You guys are done with the investigation? Okay, perfect. All right, I'll get it up for you. So let's get going. I'm going to get my truck into position. All right, so let's get our truck turned around. I think we should be able to pull it from about right here should be good. Gotta make sure we have enough space to get it all the way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck into position. Let's put down the stabilizers. Lock those down. Let's put down the underreach. And then let's lift the arm as high as it could go. Unfortunately, I can't put this like up super high like how it could in real life. Definitely would make this look a lot more realistic or even better yet if we had like say a rotator we could really get this thing up high but unfortunately we don't have one yet so we kind of just have to role play so just imagine an arm being like all the way up there and then we're going to just pull this right on over. That's the plan. So Alex is already starting off with the rigging. Let me actually take a look at it this myself as well. So we'll, so there's really not much holding this truck up right here but this pipe. Alright, so he's working on hooking it up from there. Happy nobody was hurt. driver was able to get out safely luckily all right so should be a pretty straightforward hookup we're just gonna hook up to the front and just try to pull it straight up and hopefully it cooperates yeah it should be a pretty simple hookup all right so let's go ahead and get everything hooked up and uh yeah let's go all right guys so we have all of the rigging complete uh, we also did release the brake, and we should be able to just pull this thing straight up right now. I wanted to try to release the differential, but we're just going to have to wait to get this up onto a more stable uh, platform to work on. So, uh, as you can see, we have two lines running from the front of the truck to our truck. It kind of glitches through the ground, don't mind that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try to get this thing up. Got two lines there. Run into our truck. All right, let's see if we can get this thing up, guys. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, it's coming up. Got to make sure it doesn't flip over. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, that frame is twisted up. Okay, let's just hold it here for a second. Dang, I should have left a little bit more space. But it should be okay. We got it up most of the way. I just need to pull it forward just a little bit more. Alright guys, so we reposition our truck. We reposition the lines. And let's see if we can just get it the rest of the way up. So we're still using the same two lines to our truck. And I think we could get it up with this last pole here. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
lifts coming on up. Alright guys, so we got it up. Let's uh, first set that parking brake. Try to climb in there so I can set it. Alright, so we got the brakes set and uh, let's get this thing ready to get towed. So it does have a good amount of damage. All of the glass is pretty much done. The bumper took a lot of damage there as well. And it kind of looked like the whole frame twisted. Like, if you guys see, like, the wheels are twisted there. Let's take a look at this side here. Yeah, this is all twisted up. So this is most likely going to be totaled. Um, we'll take it to the yard and we'll see what insurance wants to do with it. But this thing is sitting sideways right now, though, guys. All right. So next, what we have to do, we can get rid of all of the winch lines. We have the brakes set, so it's not going to roll away. Um, we'll probably put some wood down just to make sure it doesn't roll away. We do not want it to go down there again. Uh, what else do we have to do? We could start hooking this up to the truck. We could start taking a differential off. So a couple things we have to do. How's it going? Hey. Okay, so let's release that winch. <laughs> the keybind always makes me do that. Now let's get this into position. Seems like my outrig has disappeared, so I'm just going to fix that, and then we'll just put the arm back down. There we go. Alright, looks like we got it. Let's lift it up. And perfect, okay. Looks like the forks we used did fit. Now we just gotta get everything chained up and we'll get it ready for transport. Okay, so Alex is gonna work on all of the chaining. While he's doing that, let's see. We got a couple things to do. I gotta get that differential pull actually. So while he's working on that, let's go pull the diff. He's working on getting everything chained up. Basically, the goal is to chain this uh, arm here to the axle of the truck. That way, it won't like jump off if we hit a bump or anything like that. And then we're also going to run some breakaway chains from here to our truck. So if it does come off, we have the breakaways to hold it in place, and it doesn't go like crazy all over the place. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what we have to do. While he's doing that, I'm going to pull the differential over here. So we just do this to avoid damage in the transmission, even though the vehicle's already damaged, we still have to make sure we do everything properly. So we're pulling a differential here. And after that, we just got to run some airlines. All right, let's uh, grab our air hoses and we'll run air from our truck to the cement truck. That way we're able to control the brakes. good and last thing we need to do is just get the wireless light bar and that's just so that vehicles behind us know if we're using our turn signals or our brake lights so we'll grab that and we'll put that on the back of the truck and we are good to go guys all right so we're all done with that everything looks good let's go ahead and get this to our storage lot I was thinking, should we take this to the city or should we take this to the county, guys? Honestly, we have more space in the county, so I think I'm going to run it up to the county. Plus, we have no heavies up there anyway, so I like to keep our trucks spread out, so we might as well take it up there. Imagine if we dropped it down there again, guys. Oh, it's close. Alright, let 
me check, check the GPS. So we're gonna run it up to the county. Should be a nice quick drive. About three and a half miles, probably a little bit longer because we're gonna go, well, we'll see. I'll see how well this thing could turn. I may be able to make the turn into Sandy Shores. Normally I, I drive past Sandy Shores and go into Grape Sea because of the turns. I think I can make the turn into Sandy Shores with this. This actually looks pretty good. Like, it looks pretty realistic here. Alright, let's get this to the shop. We got two and a half to go. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. And subscribe if you're new, guys. Also, turn on those post notifications by hitting the bell icon uh, right next to the subscription button. One mile to go, we are nearly there, guys. Okay, so hopefully we can make this turn. You know what, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just gonna go to Grape Seed. That turn is just so hard to make it because there really isn't much room. As you guys can see, I'm not even going to chance it because I don't want to get stuck.
Okay, now we have one mile to go. <laughs> This was a pretty easy recovery for the most part. Even though the truck was like down in like a bad place, we were able to just get it out pretty easily. But you know what? That's why we're the best though, guys. We're ace towing, recovery, towing and recovery, heavy duty specialists out here in San Andreas. And we do it all, guys. The light duty, the medium, the heavy duty towing. If you guys have any ideas of things you guys would like to see us do in the game as well, definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below. So if you want me to try to tow a specific type of vehicle, or if you guys want me to try to set up a certain type of scene, definitely let me know by leaving a comment. Alright, we are basically here now. I know that was a pretty long drive. <laughs> this isn't really the fastest vehicle, you know, but... Ah, we made it. Alright guys, so today was a good episode. We started at our city location and now we're arriving at our county location. So you guys get to actually see both of our shops. You know, I think I'm going to try to just back it straight up. Maybe I'd get it in the. Should be easier once we're on the pavement. We did it. Another successful day for Ace Towing and Recovery here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Heavy number two did a great job today. We're going to go ahead and park it up. Uh, we'll park it up in the first spot right here. Alright, perfect. Let's put the arm up. thing off all right guys so that is gonna do it for today's episode i really do hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new guys so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget let me know what else you guys would like to see me tow we have plenty of tow trucks as you can see we got some of the f550 flatbeds and wheel lifts over there uh, we got some texture loss i do apologize about that uh, a lot of the trucks are out on the road right now, so most of the bays are empty. We have the 2020 F350 tow truck, and then we also have the Duristar here as well. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll try to make it happen, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!